Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Chairman. You, you said you found out about the SEC data breach in August of this year? Yes, sir. When did the SEC find out about it? Uh, in 2016. Did uh, Chairwoman White know about it? What, what happened in 2016 and who knew about it is going to be the subject of this review that I've asked the Office of Inspector General. To I have, I have no belief sitting here that Chair Chair White knew about this. Well, when you found out about it in August of 2016, yes. how'd you find out about it? Uh, our Division of Enforcement had an ongoing investigation. Information that they gained in connection with that investigation caused them to question whether there had been a breach of our system. And at, that's the time I launched um, an investigation. And when did they raise that question? When did they raise that question? When did they raise the question that there might have been a data breach? Uh, they raised it to me in August of this year. Yeah. Did they like raise it at 10 o'clock in the morning and call you at 11, or did they know about it for a while? I, I think they raised it uh, promptly upon, upon learning about it. But, you know, again, how, our response to this matter mm -hmm. is something that I'm concerned about and want to get to the bottom. Well, this bed was on fire when you lay down in it. I'm not blaming you. Um, did did uh, Chairwoman White tell you about this breach when she was leaving and say this is something you need to worry about? No, no. I, 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 like I said, I have no indication that Chair White had a knowledge of this breach. Okay. Can you, uh, it, will you at some point tell us when the SEC first learned about the breach? Not when you were first notified, but when the SEC first no, uh, learned about the breach. Yeah. I, I, yes, I, I, I've asked the Office of Inspector General to look into this matter. Those are questions I want to know the answer to because they're going to help us do better going forward. Okay. Is there any possibility, realistic possibility, that the SEC knew about this breach uh, in 2016 and didn't disclose it? I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to go there. I want to wait till the facts come out. Okay, that's fair. Let me ask you about the Equifax breach. Um, after the the uh, the company Equifax learned about the data breach, mm -hmm. several senior executives sold stock. Was that insider trading? I, I'm. I am not gonna. I'm not going to comment on that specific matter for the reasons that I have discussed. Um, Are you going to investigate it? We don't comment on pending or investigations, including whether they uh, they are actually pending. Well, you're not going to ignore it, are you? I'm not ignoring this. I'm not ignoring this or other events like it. So I take it you're neither confirming nor denying that there's an investigation. That's correct. Okay. Well, if you decide, and I'm not suggesting... It's been our policy for a long time. And I want to say that that, you know, the investigation sure. that's going on, I, understand. I, I, I needed to disclose that one. I understand. I'm going to stick with our policy with respect to third parties. It's the anti-Comey rule. I, I understand. Um, well, let me put it this way. I'm not suggesting you won't in, in, uh, investigate, but if you decide not to investigate, would you let us know so we can investigate? I think that's a fair question. Okay. Fair enough. Um, and I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm, I'm really not. But there's more than just a data breach involved here. There's, there's the sanctity of our equity markets as well. And, and I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I think the executives are taking the position that they knew nothing, saw nothing. This was just a coincidence. Uh, and that may well be, but, but uh, um, trust verify. And I'm... I'm glad to hear that you're investigating. Thank you. Thank you. Um, w one of the, I'm about out of time. You know what strikes me, uh, and I think many Americans is curious about the credit reporting agencies. I didn't hire them. I didn't hire them to collect information about me. I mean, they, they don't represent me. They represent business, which I understand. But I didn't hire them to collect all this information. Mm -hmm. And now, all of a sudden, my information is out there somewhere on the dark web. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seems to me at some point, Mr. Chairman, 
and Mr. Ranking Member, that that's something we need to talk about in this committee, is about what, what the role that the credit reporting agencies play and to whom do they have an obligation. This, well, I'm going on too, too long. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Um, this is more interesting than practicing law, isn't it? Some days. Yes.